Welcome to another video in which we are going to walk you through how to handle a human cases. That is a simulation where you are given a chance to act as a nurse, attending to a patient who always have some reason to visit the clinic. Now in this case, we will be handling a case of uh, uh, Caroline Cross, uh, a, a female, a 44-year-old female who has visited the clinic for wellness check. Now the first part of a human case is always the history part where you ask a certain number of questions and there are specific questions that uh, help you attend to the patient. Now in this case uh, there are some questions that are almost um, they are basic uh, and you have to ask almost all patients that visit the clinic. And there are some questions that are very specific to, uh, to a patient, uh, depending on the reason for encounter. Now, whenever you're handling the history part and asking these questions, you're supposed to pay attention to the observation button, the, the one uh, with the, uh, the one highlighted OBS uh, and with a, a speaker. And then and in this part, you are, when you ask the right question, you always get the not, the thumb and uh, the good question notification highlighted in green. Now, in Caroline Cross case, in this case, we we asked, we went for the right questions, and we're asking all the right questions. So we are getting that notification for every question, as you can see in this part. Now, some of the basic questions that you have to ask almost all. Uh, almost all patients include uh, how can i help you today that's a basic question that you have to ask all patients there are questions like about drugs uh, social activities like uh, whether the patient is using recreational drugs drinking alcohol sexual activity immunization about uh, problems with nervousness heat or cold in intolerance now, uh, there are also questions that are specific to the patient that you're handling. Like in this case, there's a question like uh, about skin dimpling or, re 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 or retraction on the patient's breast. Because this patient has a concern about her breast, so you have to ask such questions. Now, you're, if you also check the patient history, she had visited the clinic for a mammogram check and so you have to ask a question concerning that then you also have to ask if the patient has any medical issues or diagnosis since she last visited the clinic now this can be a specific question to depending on uh, on the patient and it can also be general or it can apply to more than one case then questions about diet this is a general question that you have to ask nearly all uh, all, all patients you encounter in uh, human cases. Then uh, there also, if, if the patient is taking alcohol or if the patient is using drugs, you have to ask if there are some people in their lives who, um, who have maybe suggested that they lower down if you think they're taking too much or just to know if they're actually taking too much. Then there are questions about fatigue. Now this is uh, a general question that you have to ask nearly all uh, Patients that you encounter in uh, a human cases, there are questions if about problems with the headache. Now that's also a very general question. There's also questions about chest pain, discomfort. That's also a very general question. There are questions about dizziness, problems with dizziness. That's also a very general question uh, that you can always use uh, in nearly all cases of of. of a human cases, especially if they deal with the uh, adult patients. Then there's, a, there's also about uh, there's also a question about urination or how the patient urinates. It's also a very common question. There are questions about uh, itchy itchy scalp. It's also a very common question that you have to ask nearly all adult patients that you encounter in human. There's also, uh, there are questions about shortness of breath. Now that's also another common question. Then uh, there's also a question about mass, muscle or joint pain. It's also a common question. Another common question 
uh, for human cases um, deals with bruising if the patient has bruises or bleeding gums it's also a common question then there's also the question about um, that question about apart, apart from bruising you also have to ask a question about shortness of breath heat and uh, or cold intolerance it's a common question another question that i ask this pa patient is problem with nervousness that's also a very common question i want you are once you are done with the questioning or formulating the basis for patient's uh, reason for visit, then you have to, from the answers that the patient gives, you have to you have note down your key findings from that patient. Now, in this case, Caroline Cross case, uh, our key findings were uh, most, most significant active concern was risk for breast cancer because she is concerned about that. Uh, this patient has had, uh, has had cystic breast disease. She's also uh, slightly overweight with a BMI of 27.5. Uh, she has a problem with the, her diet. She's taking fast food at least twice per week. She has breast, uh, she has a mother and a maternal cousin with uh, breast cancer who have who have been recently diagnosed with breast cancer so that's also a key finding our father has hyper, hyper, hyperlipidemia that's a key finding another key finding is type 2 diabetes which the mother has then this person uh, this this patient had visited the clinic for pap smear so she's also due for another one you have to include that one then she also, she also has elevated high pressure once you are there, you've you're done with the key findings, you move to EHR, which is electronic health record for this patient. Now, this patient had visited, has visited the clinic, and uh, there's a record for that under the EHR. But now, this this is a new visit, so you use the current visit option. And then, uh, under the EHR, there are, there are prompts that you're supposed to respond to such as the reason for encounter now uh, if you pay attention to to the questions that you ask during the history and the answers that the patient gave you'll find that the answers or uh, the responses to the ehr comes from those uh, from the patient's answers now you have uh, under ehr you're supposed to one of the prompts is reason for encounter history for uh, history of present illness or EHPI, you're supposed to uh, answer about uh, cardiovascular, respiratory, gastrointestinal, uh, other muscular skeleton, examination, <coughs> neurologic examinations, breast. Now, this patient had uh, breast, is concerned about breast cancer, so you're supposed to include that one. But now uh, another thing about the EHR is it's standard. So almost every patient that you encounter, especially adult patients, we have to uh, to respond to their EHR. You have to give a record of that one. Then the last part of EHR is uh, uh, family, the family uh, patient's family health. Then there's also the social. Uh, social life of the patient you are supposed to respond to allergies uh, social history and then lastly family history now once you're done with that you have to return back to the case to check if everything is okay and then after history you 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 proceed to the next part which is you get your response about uh, how you handle the history part and then the, the response is always there. Then uh, there are other exercises that you're supposed to respond to, but that's according to each case. Then once you're done with that part, you move to the physical exam part. Now physical exam part, uh, especially the vitals are always standard. Uh, they deal with the blood pressure, uh, weight, height, cognitive status, pulse, respiration, temperature, and temperature so these are standard to all uh, you uh, human cases so you're supposed to attend to them now in this case uh, this patient 
all these patients blood pressure was normal uh, normal and normal intensive then uh, you, under when you, there are some exams that you have to perform that you really have to perform like uh, in this case blood pressure we have the uh, Okay. Uh, you have to perform to get the actual results that you 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 can. Uh, also, the pulse. You are, they are, You can see there are marks on the patient's body that you are supposed to 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 examine. And then uh, there's the. Uh, for you, you have to do that to get the actual rate, the rhythm, and then the strength. These are the the requirements for for conducting a pulse exam then the temperature is always given by the system and then uh, another another common another common physical exam is the skin there's also you have to exa examine the patient's pupils and uh, both the left and the right and then you give your the, the right interpretation you also uh, inspecting the mouth and pharynx or pharynx is a standard physical exam inspecting the neck is also more or less a physical a standard physical exam you have to do it on almost all adult patients then uh, examining the breast now this is not very standard it's common but not very standard but in this case it's it is a must. Uh, it is a must as because uh, this patient has concern for breast cancer, so we are supposed to cut that out. Then visual inspection of the lungs and chest walls. That's also standard. You have to osculate, uh, ascu, ascu, the lungs uh, using the four points that are given. That is uh, the the lower left parotid arteries. Yeah, and also the right, the upper right, and the the four parts in the body. The 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 system gives you the exact parts that you're supposed to examine. Now, once you're done with the both the left and the right lungs, you key in your interpretations from the drop down. Yeah, the from a set of mini uh, set. A set of options that are given by the case. Then once you're done with that, you articulate the uh, the heart using the points uh, highlighted by the case. And then one you are, once you're done, there are about six uh, points. And once you're done with each point or uh, each point, you give your interpretation as per the result of uh, and each the, the exercise. Each exercise takes at least fifteen seconds. So once you're done with that, you interpret, and then the abdomen you have to, to you have to give a visual inspection of the ab, ab, abdomen. Now the response is given by the case. Then you you you're also supposed to auscultate the abdomen using the four points that are given by the case. Uh, two on the right and then two on the left. And uh, once you're done with that, you move you move to once you're and each each of the point always takes at least 15 seconds so you need at least a minute to asculate asculate the abdomen and then you give your interpretation as per the exams then you're also supposed to palpate abdomen the response is given by the case and then uh, after that you're also supposed to uh, check the extremities that's also common for all our human cases <coughs> then uh, as per this patient, you are, you are required to, to, to conduct the female exam. Then the, once you're done with that, the, the response is given by the case or the interpretation. Then you're also supposed to carry out rectal exam. It's also a, a basic exam for nearly all adult cases, but sometimes depend on a particular case. Then you're also supposed to palpate the neck. The response is given by the case. Then, uh, as per the art, you are also supposed to auscultate or palpate the art. Then, once you are done with that, you go back to the EHR, that is the electronic health record, and key in your interpretation. 
uh, for example the general the general interpretation or the general assessment of the patient now in, the, in this case this patient uh, despite having concerns for breast uh, breast cancer or coming for wellness check uh, she has normal energy level and then the neck uh, according to your interpretation or the responses given by the case you key in that then you also deal with the uh, respiratory and cardiovascular then the abdomen then the rectal and nearly all the body parts that uh, you conducted on which the body parts on which you conducted physical exam uh, the you have to the rectal there's also the neurologic then the skin <coughs> this is the neurologic then there's the skin this is the muscle musculoskeletal skeletal examination this is the skin they also the there's also the yeah and uh, under neurologic these are the interpretation that are given by the case so it's just a matter of maybe referring back to the case to the, the physical exam results and then keying them in and then there's also the lymphatic then the last one is psychiatric then once you're done with that you can always proceed to, to the next section and uh, before you move to the assessment part you are given the, the response as per your performance in physical exam the other physical uh, the other exercise that you're supposed to take before moving forward with their feedback and in this case we had three three exercises which we undertook and then the the results were given. <laughs> then once you're done with the, the under the assessment part, there are five activities that you're supposed to carry out. That is the key findings. They are give, you already did that, so the the, the system just gives them back. Then you are supposed to write the problem statement. Then after that, you select differential uh, diagnosis for the patient. Now that's very very specific. Also, uh, the problem statement is always very specific. So you collect, you select all the differentials uh, depending on the the patient's reason for encounter. Now in this case, the differentials were breast cancer, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, mellitus type 2. And then uh, there's the response once you've done that. And then the next part is ranking those descent differentials to, 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 to determine. It's a way of determining the, the right diagnosis for the patient. And then once you have da you've ra done with the ranking, you select the the test for this patient now that's always very specific per patient now this patient needed uh, about i think four tests uh, the first of which was uh, you have to check the blood sugar or glucose uh, there was also the hemoglobin for for the blood then the next test <coughs> was li uh, lipid profile because uh, she she has a family history of lip hyperlipidemia then mammograph, mammograph, mammography screening because uh, this patient is actually due for another mammograph. Then uh, there's also test for Papa Nicolau test, and then that's the response. As you can see, then once you have your results, you can check the interpretation for each. Then from the results, you, that's where you get your diagnosis. And then after diagnosis, there were other tests that we carried for this patient. Then you get your diagnosis feedback. And then once you're done with that, there are other more tests that you have to carry out. 
but these are very specific per case not all cases have this te this test or exercise then once you're done with that from the <coughs> yeah, test results the assessment physical exam and diagnosis you write the uh, treatment plan for this patient and then once again the all the exercises that you are you have carried out are highlighted and then there's one more that you carry out for as per this case and then once you are done you are done with the case and you can submit it for answers and then uh, in this case uh, we submitted everything we after doing that we close the case and just can see we this was the score for this case uh, that's all for this case uh, thank you for tuning in